Hello there, and thank you for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the Cut Clips to VLC feature. Now, this works very similar to the Cut Clips feature from the timeline to a targeted folder. So be sure to watch that screencast because we go into some of the settings in a little bit more detail. So the preferences are found under the Cut Clips setup. And you can see here we've got these options. I'm going to keep them as just individual movies for clips. We close that. Now we need to jump into our VLC mobile app on either Android or iOS, both work. You tap on the little traffic cone, and we need to enable sharing via Wi-Fi. That is going to give us two addresses, an IP address and a very friendly bonjour name. We're going to use the bonjour name. So take note of that. And then in the timeline, we're going to set that. Now, mine was already set up with this, but all you need to input is just the name or IP address. You do not need to include HTTP colon slash slash. So just the name. And that's going to tell the feature where to send the clips. Now, when you're troubleshooting, it's probably a good idea to take a look in a web browser and open up that via the same link. So HTTP colon slash slash, in my case, Rex is iPhone.local. And that will just confirm that the web services on the app are running. So I'll quit out of that. And all we have to do now is select a clip. Because of the preference that we have set, the dominant angle will be exported. So I can choose that clip and I go cut clips to VLC and that will export that to the phone. Now just remember, you also need to be on the same network. So in this case, we're obviously using Wi-Fi and both of the devices, your computer and the mobile app have to be on the same network. There's also a shortcut for this, Option Command E. So very similar to Option or Command E for exporting from the timeline to a folder, Option Command E, and that will export the selected clip. Let's take a look at one other option here. And let's do separate angles and then close that. And now when I select a clip, Option Command E, it's going to export each angle cut up. And you could do the sequencing option as well, but you'll see those will all come in. It's a very easy feature to use. One note, each timeline or composer can have a different VLC option. So if I create a second timeline, I can edit that and change that to use a different device. Currently, only one device is configurable per timeline or composer.